Hello, I'm Will with Will's Reviews, and today I want to show you a great way to cook venison steaks. I'll go through all the steps, and I'll put the recipe either in the description below or at the end of this video. At our house, we get about three deer every year, so we always have a lot of venison steaks in the freezer. Um, typically, they get cooked one of three ways. My wife will cube them up sometimes and make a chili that's really delicious. About once a year or twice a year, I'll make venison jerky, which is delicious, but it's labor intensive. And you start out with about this much meat and you end up with about this much meat. And lastly, we just do a pot roast recipe with it. It's easy. It's delicious. It's not gamey. Normally, I can tell the difference between a buck and a doe when we're cooking. I can't do this here. So let me walk you through how I prepare the meat and then we'll come back and I'll show you the, the other ingredients and at the end we'll wrap it all up. Alright, now I'll show you how I prepare the venison steaks. My processor does two to a pack which works out great for this recipe. But basically what I'm going to do is just remove any of this fascia that's on the outside of the steak and then I'll go through and take out fascia that's on the inside. It doesn't matter to me if these pieces get cut up because they're all going into pot roast anyway. So this will come off of the outside. And I don't know if you need to see it all just show you the end result after I do it. I'm going to leave the bone in. I like the flavor that the bone gives, but I'm going to take out everything that might make this chewy or tough. Okay, here's what's left. I've trimmed out all the muscles, taken the fascia off the outsides, and just cut away anything that might be tough. So this is what's going to go in into my pot roast. Next, I'll prepare all the other ingredients and then come back and show you how I combine it all. Okay, I've got all my ingredients and vegetables prepped, so I'm just going to throw them in the crock pot. I realize this looks like a lot of ingredients, but it's things that you already have on your shelf anyway, so it's, it's really easy to make. So I just spread the meat out evenly on the bottom and I tend to put in all the big heavy pieces first I don't know that it matters on the carrots I use baby carrots just because I buy a pack and I enjoy eating what's left but I also like the uniform size on the potatoes I prefer the red potatoes. I don't know that it matters, but again, my preference. And all of these recipes are just guidelines. Um, if you like more potatoes, add more potatoes. Cream of mushroom soup. Everything is better with cream of mushroom soup. Garlic. I was lazy and I used the minced garlic that comes in a jar. Lipton onion soup mix. Alright, this is Dalmatian rub that I've talked about earlier in my videos. It's just coarse ground salt and pepper, but it's great stuff. This is a Monterey steak seasoning that I've made, but any Monterey steak seasoning, if you like. Thyme. Sage. I almost forgot. 
some fine red wine. And then a cup of beef broth. And that's it. I'm going to put this on low for eight hours and come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, the pot roast didn't get me ready for another 30 minutes, so I thought I'd share the recipe with you now. I'm going to try to put it in the description below, but I'm not sure if it's too big or not. So just in case, here it is. And I'll be back once it's done. Okay, it's been eight hours and the house smells wonderful. The meat's tender, the vegetables are tender, so everything is done what it was supposed to do. <clears throat> Keep in mind that the prep time for this was about 30 minutes in the crock pot on low for eight hours. <clears throat> so this is the kind of thing that you know, you could make the night before, dump it in the crock pot as you go to work and come home to a really good meal. This will be dinner tonight for us and there are a couple of lunches in here as well. I really like this recipe. Okay, that's it. I hope you'll try this recipe. It's really easy and it's really, really good. If you know somebody that eats a lot of venison, please share it with them as well. Um, if you like what you've seen, you know, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button. Um, I'm, my goal is a thousand subscribers, and right now I'm at 16. So, as you can probably tell, this is a learning process for me, an old dog learning new tricks. So, be patient and I'll get better at the production side of this, but hopefully the content is, is better than my lack of production skills. So thanks for watching. Take care.